The following is an initiation lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 5th of February, 1976, in Mayapur, India. We should understand the purpose of taking sannyas by the example given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. It is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Taktya Sudhushtada Sure Psita Rajya Lakhing Dharmishtha Arja Vatasa Jadabhadaranyam Maya Midang Dhaitai Psita Mannathavat Bandhi Mahapurusati Charanaravindam. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was resident of this place where you are taking sannyas. So, what was the purpose of his taking sannyas? He was very uh, respectable Brahmana, Nimai Pandit. This tract of land, Navadde, is the place of highly educated Brahmanas from time immemorial. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu belonged to a very respectable Brahmin family. The son of Jagannath Mishra, his grandfather, Nilamba Chakravarti, very respectable person. He took birth in that family. Personally, he was a very beautiful. Therefore, his another name is Gaur Sundar. And he was very learned scholar also. Therefore, his another name is Nimai Pandit. So, in his family life, he had very nice, beautiful young wife, Vishnu Priya, and very affectionate mother. And very, he was very influential. You know that in one day he collected about uh, 100,000 followers to protest against the Kaji's order. In this way, his social position was very favorable, personal position was very favorable. Still, he took sannyas, left home. Why? Dvaitae, in order to favor, in order to show mercy to the fallen souls of the world. So he left a legacy that anyone who has taken birth in India, Bharat Mite Manusha Janma Hailaja, Janma Sathakari Karo Paropaka. So he exhibited personally how to do Paropaka, welfare to others, fallen souls. So this unless means falling the order of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that Amar Agai Guru Hiya Tare Desh, Jare Dakho Tare Karo, Kaho Krishna Pradesh. So not only we are trying to create a position that not only the Indians have got this responsibility, but according to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, anyone, Prithivite Ase Jato Nagaradigya, they should take up this missionary war, and I am so much obliged to you, you American boys and girls also, that you have taken this Krishna consciousness movement very seriously, and by the grace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are taking Sanlaya, some of you, keep it very perfectly, and go from town to town, city to city, village to village, all over the world, and spread this Krishna consciousness movement so that everyone will be happy. People are very much suffering. They 
because they are murhas, rascals, they do not know how to adjust living condition in human form. This is the Bhagavad Dharma everywhere that the human form is not to become a dog, hog, pig. You should become a perfect human being. Suddhita Satya. Purify your existence. Why you are subjected to birth, death, old age, and disease? Because we are impure. Now, if we purify our existence, then there will be no such thing as birth, death, old age, and disease. That is the version of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Krishna Himself. Simply by understanding Krishna, you become purified and you escape the contamination of birth, death, old age, and disease. So, try to convince the people in general, the philosophers, the religionists, we have no such thing, sectarian view. Anyone can join this movement and become purified himself, janma sartha kari karo paropoka. So I am very much pleased. You have given already service to the society. Now you take up sannyas and peace all over the world so that people may be benefited. Thank you very much. Write your name, Viraha Prakash Swami. Viraha Prakash, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the symbolic of Viraha Prakash. Govinda Virahe Name. He says, Sunna Yatam Jagat Sarvam Govinda Virahe Name. That is Viraha Prakash. That everything is vacant for me without Govinda. That is called Viraha. So, we shall be mad after Govinda. That is Govinda Virahe